So there's actually a way to configure the Cinnamon desktop. Uh, some of my viewers are telling me this. So it was actually on their page too. But anyways, thanks. All right. Um, so what you need is you need to install this thing. Open up your software manager and search for dconf. And what you want to do is install this dconf dash tools here. Right, not just dconf, it's dconf dash tools. All right, and after that, uh, it should be in your menus somewhere in what is that, system tools, and it says dconf editor. And it'll look like um, the old thing, gconf editor, but this is dconf, and they have this thing called orgs here. So you want to expand that, and you have cinnamon here, and here, this is where you do um, if you want to disable that stupid, um, what was that little icon over here uh, just uncheck that and the hover thing too like if you don't like the hover th crap and you uncheck this and now you won't have that anymore okay and other stuff you can do like change the menu names if you want to change it um, I think that's about it you can do in here uh, what else is there in here let's say if you want to well the calendar not really necessary but you can do like stuff like show the seconds on your timer anyways play around with these options if you want it's just check boxes or renaming some stuff um, not that hard but that's how you do that now if you get rid of um, you know both of these and you still need the um, activities you can actually let's open up our keyboard here and we can change the shortcuts for that and it's in your system here I believe there you go this one is it shows activities overview and you can change the hotkey to whatever you want alright but I have my as control and what was that the tilde and I can still use it now you still need you know this because um, by default I don't think you can change the themes uh, using this uh, you know regular stuff here right they do have the themes but you can't really change it to different cinnamon themes so that's why you need still need the, the activities or the activate button right and in here you have your themes and you can see that they have um, gnome shells themes you can see like the little subtitles here I don't know if I can zoom in it no I can't zoom damn it um, but it says like in the subtitles here it says gnome shells themes and this one says uh, cinnamon themes I guess it's a little bit different uh, I'm not sure if, you know it works on um, back and forth vice versa between normal shells and and cinnamon but um, yeah this is the only way you can change themes for cinnamon as far as I know so you still need this for that if you want to change your themes anyways that's how you can configure some stuff and now that you got rid of those two things um, you know you're, you're like back to the gnome 2 style okay but when you need to have your windows open like uh, what was it like Compiz Expo or whatever? You can still use your button and you still have, can select the windows if you want, right? So that is still useful for something, okay? Anyways, that's it for this one.